What's going on guys, Sahaman here and we're going to just do a quick overlook or overview or quick review on the 18 inch Hot Toys The Dark Knight, or it's probably from The Dark Knight Rises Batman, so you get see right here is the full look. So this is what we're going to be taking a look at today guys. So here, here he is right here, a 360 look of him on his base. It's a very, very nice figure. It's a figure I honestly don't show a lot of love to because I've had this guy for quite a while already and I've never really, I just started re recently like messing around with the figure only because you know the, the whole Batman and Superman hype's got me going on and I took this guy to the display base and I didn't, I just never really messed with him and I never realized how much, you know, how great this Batman figure is but it's all the way around. And we're going to take a close detailed look I'll at Batman. some of the accessories and everything he comes with. Pretty much for the most part, um, the box I actually have in storage and I think I might have left a few accessories in there like the sticky gun that he does come with because he does come with a sticky gun but um, I left that in the storage unit so I'll, have you, I'll show you guys some of the stuff that I have with me um, in, in, my, uh, in my house. So we have the display stand right here which is very nice. You can see the plate, it reads the Dark Knight Rises and you have this really cool like concrete uh, rocky little base right here so you can see all the great little details and again this is hot toys so you're going to get your money's worth when you get this guy's a little dusty right here should have dusted this bad boy so you got the little you know little turnaround here of the base i love the base there's a the bottom of it and you got the adjustable cradle right here it comes with several different hands um I'm, I'll, I'll show you some of them just so you guys can see like a close detailed look on how you know detailed these really are so you can see he's got some, you know, just various kind of hands, and they're very, very cool. He's got those there. I have the instructions right here. He does come with a flight pack. I'm not going to show you guys how this looks with the on because i got to take the cape off and everything. But he does come with a flight pack here, if you guys remember. This is like a version of all the Batmans from the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight uh, Rises. Actually, not from Batman Begins, though. Um, so he's got the flight pack right here. Um, some couple more little, little hands right here. You can see that. He's got different mouth like facial expressions. You get a total of one, two, three, four, but here's two of them right here. This one with the open mouth one's kind of funny, but you can see the different mouth little, uh, facial expressions right there. Little little um, accessories right here, like you have little grappling hooks. There's a little smoke bomb right there, some batarangs, and um, extra like little clips right there at the bottom. But if I take this top piece off, you can see, you know, better look at the batarangs and the smoke bomb and stuff. So there's some accessories right there. And for the base, he actually comes with little pieces that you can display. Like, he comes with this little, like, um, like I don't know, I don't, I don't really want to call it a bean, but it's very, very nicely detailed. It looks very rusty. But you kind of put this on like so. There's some slots in here that you can slide this in. It doesn't stay on that well. But uh, you can put this here. And he comes with a Joker mask right here, which is a soft, you know, soft rubber material. So you can see that. Very, very nice. From the bank robbing, bank robber scene. Um, he comes with a scarecrow little mask. See all the cool little details on this? I still need the Hot Toy Scarecrow. That's something I want to pick up. Um, he comes with another piece of, uh, piece of like a broken beam. And he comes with uh, Bane's little mask. So you can see this right here, which looks great. Very nicely detailed. And all this stuff you can just display anywhere around the base, just wherever you, you please, uh, wherever pleases you or wherever you wanna put this stuff. Like if you look in the instructions right here, somewhere on here, it tells you like where you can place all the accessories. So you got all that right there. He also comes with uh, an extra head. Now this is the, this is the one I display him with now. So this head sculpt right here is the um, sonar head sculpt right here and it has a light up function, the LEDs. And uh, here's another facial expression. So you can take this off and you can place this right on there. Just if you guys wanted to know that. And you can even see the na little nasal holes in the mask. But look at the detail on his face. But so you got that right there. And um, you got the button right here to turn this on. And this is really bright. I'll show you guys in a second when I place him on the, uh, on the actual body to show you guys what it looks like. In the dark so you got that right there the buttons up top we also have another head sculpt now this is a christian bale head sculpt this is 
such a great likeness to Christian Bale. I mean, this looks just like him. It's, it's so realistic. The detail on him is amazing. Look at those eyes. And um, not this head sculpt, but the other one that I'm going to show you that's displayed on the doll has a purr system where you can move the eyes around. But look at this. Look at the sculpting on the hair. And just that likeness to Christian Bale is amazing. And then you have this other piece right here of the, the suit when you if you want to display him on the suit or on the actual bat costume. You can see he does have the utility belt and a bunch of little compartment stuff you can place on here like that. And then he has um, little pieces here. Again, I'm not going to go really into detail about everything. I'm just going to show you a quick overlook. He has his grapple gun right here. Take that out and you can see right here. Get the grapple gun, which is very nice. So the utility belt itself looks great. He also has his EMP gun right here, which lights up and you can push this back and forward. But see the great detailing on the, on the suit? It's just so nice. And look at the boots. And there's the bottom right here. He has those like ratchet joints. And then you come to the back and here's the holster. So here's a look at the back of the suit. Very, very nice. I love how this looks. And the cape is really, 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 really long. It goes all the way to the floor and it just like drapes around. Now I'll give you guys a close up on the suit. Look at the head sculpt right here. Look at the, <laughs> the, the facial expression on this one. But look at the cowl, man. Look how great he looks in the eyes. Looks so real. Very, very nice. And this, the head is just like on a magnet. So you can see right here, if you guys want a close look at the head sculpt, how cool that is that. Very, very nice, very nicely detailed. So you just stick that sucker right on there. And you have the suit, the bat symbol, look at the abs. Very, very cool. All that armor. The gauntlets on here are super nice and they're very sharp too. So just be careful with these. You guys can see that the camera focuses in. And again, just all the cool little body armor that he has, the shoulder pads. Very, very nice. So something I want to show you guys is the light for the EMP gun can actually light up. So there's a little button right here at the bottom. So you turn that on, you can see it lighting up right here. I'm going to change this head sculpt off because I do like the one with the sonar. And you can see right here, so I'll move this guy back and I will show you guys what it looks like in the dark. You guys here, I'll shut off all the lights. And look at this guy, this is so bright. The EMP gun does light up fairly nice, or LEDs, but the eyes is what's really, really bright on this guy. It's almost like a flashlight, just how blinding this can be. There you have it guys, there's my review on the Hot Toys 18 inch The Dark Knight Rises Batman. A very, very cool figure guys, sorry it was just a Kind of a messy review, but I just wanted to show you guys this really quick. It's it's not really a review, I guess. It's more of like an overlook on, on the figure. Just wanted to share with you guys how cool this is. I mean, you get the different head sculpts, like this very, very cool Christian Bale head sculpt. You get this one right here, too, of Batman. You get a bunch of cool little accessories, the base with all the little villains, you know, little stuff from the villains. And, um, yeah, this Batman is just awesome. Again, it is the 18-inch scale. He's sold out pretty much. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store still has him on their website, but it's sold out. I think it's like $600. I got mine from Josh from Frankincense Collectibles, and um, I am happy with this figure. Now, again, like I said, now that I've, you know, took taken the figure out and kind of, you know, taking pictures of it, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will see the pictures that I've been posting. But, um, yeah, now that I've been, you know, taking pictures of it and you just, you know, just love this figure so much, the detail on him, the look, this is probably, I, again, I haven't showed this guy much love. But he's probably, now that, you know, they've done this, you know, the little quick look and, you know, messed the figure for a bit. He's probably my favorite Batman Hot Toys figure. But if you guys have this, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any Hot Toys Batmans, which ones do you guys have? Let me know in the comments below. And if you have more than one, which one is your favorite one? Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little look at this figure. Stay tuned. There's a lot more on the way.